Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to calculate based on the hierarchy level in Power BI. It's a real world case and solution in Power BI and as well as we'll talk about some DAX on it. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. Is in scope. Is in scope is a tag which you are going to use this to calculate based on the hierarchy. So we'll just discuss about the theory of it. It returns true when the specified column is the level in the hierarchy of levels. You didn't understand anything, right? Don't worry about that. We'll discuss this in this video. The syntax is, is in scope. There's the column name and the example. Let's see in this video. This is my Power BI file. In this, I have the sales based on category, subcategory, and then the product. So there are three level of hierarchy here, category, subcategory, and then the product. So now, so this is the actual requirement. It is, if it is a category, then the value has to be in millions. If it is a subcategory hierarchy, then it has to be in thousands. If it is a product, then it has to be as it is. So now, in order to achieve that, we have to use a DAX, that is in scope DAX. With the help of this, we can achieve this one. This is a matrix table. And in this, I have drag and drop the category, subcategory and product here in row and the sales amount measure under the values. Now, if you look at the sales measure, it is just sum of sales amount. Now we can do some enhancement here in order to achieve the exact requirement. First of all, I would like to declare this here variable. I made a video about the variables in Power BI. If you haven't seen the link given on top of your screen. Now coming back here, variable sales amount is equal to this the one. And then I want to return it here and want to use the switch function. Switch, if it is true, whatever the value it is coming here, if it is true, then I'm going to use this here. The first thing is if is in scope, if it is a product, product comes here, product English, product name, then I need the sales amount as it is. Make sure you have to use the minimum level first and then the maximum and then the maximum. You should not have to go from category, subcategory and product. Rather, you have to go product, subcategory and then the category. Like the same way you have to go in your example as well. So first I have defined the least one that is the product and the next one is, is is in scope, subcategory, comma, I like to use the divide function here, divide the sales amount by 1000. Now comma here is in scope, the next is the category, English product category name, if it is that, then close the bracket, comma divide function, the sales amount, comma divided by 100,000, 10,000, max and millions, 1 million. So now close the bracket. That's it. So if you commit now, it is refreshing. Now if you look at the values here, let's go gear up to the top. So it is the value is showing it in millions now. Now, if I expand this to one level down, these values are in thousands, divided by thousands here. And if I expand any of the values here, for example, this one, then it is showing the value as it is. Now, you might have noticed that there is a blank here for the total. The reason is because in the formula, in the switch, we have not written the else statement. So here we can use the else statement, comma. If it is an else, then you can directly use the sales amount divided by millions and it is going to be beyond the category level, right? So that's why I'm going to use the divide function and then this is divided by 1 million. Now commit. Yeah, as you can see, now the value it is showing it in millions here. In order to avoid the confusion, let's close up this one. Now you have all the values in millions. So these are you can able to use the is in scope function in order to manipulate our data as per our requirement based on the hierarchy level.
This function is really helpful in our day to day activities like we have to calculate the things based on our category. In real time also we get lots of requirement like that then we have to make the calculation based on the hierarchy level. So this will be a helpful video for it. If you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button. And one more thing to say here there is a join button here so you can click on that and you can become a member of our channel. It will be helpful for us and as well as you will get some additional benefit out of it. So just go and check out what are the options available over there. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.